all. Today, a bill that would ban holding a cell phone in your hand while driving was revived, and this time it has a greater chance of becoming law. John Croman joins us live from the Capitol with more. John? You know, the main reason is really momentum, determination, and an election. You know, last year here at the Capitol it seemed to have momentum. Carol Levin had the whole Eyes Up campaign going, but the leaders here would not allow a vote on hands free. This year, the House has new leaders. Senate has the same leader, but he says the time is now right. It's a story about safe driving and getting phones out of your hands. But the picture that says the most? Democrats and Republicans standing together, pledging real action on a hands-free bill this year. And it is, in my mind, truly, truly dangerous. And there are people that are being injured and killed as a result. And to all of those folks that I've been talking to for a couple of years that have lost a loved one, here we are. It's positive. Those of you who followed the Care 11 Eyes Up campaign will recognize V.J. Dixit. It is a no-brainer. It is the right thing to do. His daughter Shreya was just 19 when she was killed by a distracted driver in 2007. I don't think there is anyone, anyone in this audience who would like to stand like this in four or five years and talk about their loved one. A Minnesota already bans texting while driving, but it's been hard to prove. Oftentimes the conversation will be, I wasn't texting, I was dialing the phone or I was looking at my GPS on my phone. Well, any of those behaviors are taking your eye off the road and they're equally dangerous. A few minutes later in the same room, a smaller group of lawmakers proposed upping the fines for texting while driving. Among those on hand, the widow of John Pletz, killed by a distracted driver in 2017. He was an excellent driver. And in a split second, my life has changed forever. And my children, and my grandchildren, and the community. Uh, right now, the uh, fine for texting while driving is $50 on first offense. They're talking about raising that to $150 on first offense and all the way to $500 on the third offense and impounding your phone. Now, that bill, the penalties bill, will probably take a back seat this year uh, to the hands-free bill, which is really focused more on prevention. And, Julie, they, they say voice command to do things by voice is still fine. They just don't want you holding that phone. They want that phone in a fixed position. Back Certainly a story that affects almost all of us. Thank you, John.